per member request, which is the usual way we do these 10 minute trainings, we're gonna be talking about microcurrent for treatment of Lyme, Bartonella, and Babesia. Lyme disease is caused by four main species of bacteria, and these can actually vary depending on where you live geographically. The most common tick-borne illness in these regions, Lyme disease, is transmitted by the bite of an infected black-legged tick. Um, and so this is why people often get panicked a little bit when they get bitten by a tick, because you often don't even know it's happened until it's a bit later on in the day. Babesia and Bartonella, like comparatively to Lyme disease, these are co-infections. Uh, these are often associated with Lyme disease. And in simple terms, a co-infection is the simultaneous infection of an organism by two or more pathogen species. And, and having a bunch of these is not uncommon at all. And it can cause a lot of problems when it comes to diagnosis because you often don't end up quite looking for everything in the right way. So tests for Lyme disease often will involve all three of these things being tested in North America. And there are two different ones in, uh, in Asia and Europe as well that are not uh, Babesia and Bartonella, which are common co-infections too. Anyway, that, that aside, often the treatment, if caught really early, is a course of antibiotics. And though this is bad for the gut, um, as we all know with antibiotics, uh, it's essentially going to stop the infection becoming chronic in some cases. And I do see more success with microcurrent in resolving these issues in people that did try the antibiotic treatment first as they were initially diagnosed. Uh, I think it helps to prevent some of the, the, uh, the latency of the uh, bacteria in the body. The main concern I have about that, of course, is that you're going to want to work on repairing your gut. So just make sure you're taking care of yourself if you want to really kind of solve this early on. The problem with Lyme disease is often not in the acute phase, it's more in the chronic phase. So if caught early, the treatment being antibiotics is okay. Uh, if untreat untreated, and sometimes, unfortunately, when treatment does fail, new signs and symptoms of Lyme might appear. Um, things like a rash appearing on all over the body, uh, joint pain, uh, bouts of severe joint pain and swelling are likely to affect your knees more, efficient, more um, often than anything else, but it can shift from one joint to another as well. So you can have this moving joint pain. It's also some people that experience neurological problems uh, where there's essentially inflammation of the brain. And this can involve temporary paralysis of one side of your face, like Bell's palsy, numbness or weakness in your limbs, impaired muscle movement, any combination of those things. So it's a very serious issue when we're looking at dealing with it there. There's also some rarer symptoms that people may develop, like liver inflammation, which is hepatitis, uh, heart problems, eye inflammation, and severe fatigue. Uh, I mean, that one's often coined as being rarer, but I don't think I've met a Lyme patient that doesn't have fatigue um, that I would consider to be uh, severe. So people suffering from Lyme disease and its co-infections, they struggle with large amounts of inflammation within their bodies that is causing all of these symptoms and other channelopathies to occur. And so it stands to reason, based on what microcurrent can do with its excellent anti-inflammatory capabilities, that it can help. What microcurrent cannot do is kill bacteria or viral infections directly. And I wanna emphasize this right now because some people look and say, well, can I just zap and kill the bacteria in my body? And unfortunately, no. Microcurrent being a, a body-friendly, healthy, um, for, uh, you know, for you kind of um, microcurrent system and electrical impulse that's already within your body, the same way that your body can't just flip a switch and kill the bacteria, uh, the microcurrent can't either. So really, treatment with the HASHA protocol for Lyme involves calming the nervous system, relaxing the vagal tone, changing the inflammatory response, as well as working to enhance the immune system. First off, uh, vagus nerve stimulation is a wonderfully simple approach to full body anti-inflammatory treatment. And I probably mention vagus nerve stimulation every time I do one of these treatment videos. Uh, but you basically need a device that has seven to 12 Hertz. You plug it into the side here, you flip it on, and it should be set to seven 12 Hertz. Um, if you're using the pinnacle, you can do this as well. You want to go for the left side of your body, looking for the vagus nerve by feeling for the carotid artery. So feel for your pulse. You normally have to be quiet to feel this. 
And once you feel this, you can place the electrode, the Y electrode that's plugged in, just behind the fingers, and you wanna adjust the power until you can feel it. So you hold the plus button down until you feel it moving your body. You really wanna feel the electricity pulsing in your neck like this. Um, and you're just gonna hold that there for three to 15 minutes. The three minutes is usually done multiple times a day. The 15 minutes might be done once or twice a day. But you wanna be calm, you wanna relax, you wanna close your eyes and just kind of accept the treatment. It's important that you do try and relax as best as you can, or you know, you're not really helping your body get out of fight or flight. Uh, the next step would be grounding. Grounding uses the same frequency, which is seven to 12 hertz. Um, and this can help tremendously with any form of latent infection by essentially adjusting the body's pH and calming that systemic inflammation down. The grounding protocol is done very easily with either conductive pads or with uh, the mitochondrial recharge bundle, which is the gloves and the socks, um, which you can equip and place onto your body. Uh, once you're hooked up, palms of your hands, soles of your feet, or using the gloves and socks, you simply set the device to seven to 12 hertz and you adjust the power until you can feel it. And it's very likely you're only gonna feel it in the hands versus the feet because people's feet often are uh, much more resistant to the electricity, but that's okay. As long as you're feeling it in one place, the circuit is working through the body. You're just gonna run this for about 15 to 30 minutes. This is a daily grounding protocol. Remember, it's passive. You can do other things while you're, while you're doing this treatment. You don't have to be restrained. You're not holding the electrode in place. You're hooked up to something passive. So absolutely worth doing this protocol daily as well. The other step that I like to include in the basic line treatment is the immune protocol. Uh, and this is to essentially normalize and enhance the function of the immune system. Now, typically this protocol is very big and I've had this problem before as well. We can't usually fit the whole protocol into one of these training videos. Um, but what it does is it works through three different steps. Number one is Pirogov's ring. Number two, is the long bones protocol. And number three is what we call optimization. This is where we're optimizing the work we've done with the long bones and Pirogov's ring to make sure the immune system is optimally functioning. Now, this is a complex protocol, but the key piece here is the use of the second step, which is the long bones. And although the other protocol components are also very important, if you can only do one piece of this due to time or just you know, you're just struggling with the fatigue, then the long bones should be that piece. And let me just share with you really quickly here the, the picture. This is going to be hard to see because this is a screenshot pulled directly from Current Medicine 3. But essentially, you're setting your device to a mode that can dose. So this can be done with all of the devices. And you're working systemically through these joints and you're dosing them. And what this is going to do is this is going to kind of activate some of the stem cells and turn them into white blood cells. You're building up your white blood cell army. You gotta realize that if you have anything like this going on in your body, your immune system is going to be very, very low and depleted. So immunity, boosting that immunity is hugely, hugely important. So you work essentially through day one, day two, day three, and day four, and then you can take a couple of days break and restart the protocol. Um, and do it all over again, one, two, three, and four. And this is done with the in conjunction typically with the other steps, Pirogov's ring and uh, doing the optimization. But again, in this case, if time is an issue and you have to pick one, building new white blood cells through the long bones, this is the most important piece of this big, juicy puzzle. So uh, the really, if you want to learn more about the immune protocol in its totality, you're going to have to go beyond these short videos. Uh, checking out Current Medicine 3rd Edition is a great option. Uh, pages 44 through 47, so there's quite a lot going on there, um, are all covering the immune protocol and the different applications of it. So I do recommend that. If you are a private member of a Hashe Protocol private membership, there are videos of these protocols as well. So you can watch those. Um, what I want to leave you guys with is just this thought, you know, this acknowledgement that Lyme disease is a complex disease, but it's root in inflammation. It does make microcurrent an effective counter to the symptoms that present themselves here. The goal is to reduce or remove the inflammation that is present in the body to prevent its overreaction to what I like to call latent infection. 
and uh, the steps outlined in uh, earlier in the video, these are a great jumping point for this. This is a great getting started place if you are looking at enhancing your treatment and trying to deal with your Lyme symptoms. This is the way to go. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. But I look forward to seeing you next week for another Monday 10-Minute Training. Take care. Bye-bye.